it is It is a one pick one drop. Uh, it needs a 53 foot dry van with swing doors only. Absolutely no reefers, no holes, no cracks, no loose. Congratulations, you have a truck with a brand new blown pack car. Brand new, brand new blown engine. Where do you start on this thing? <laughs> uh, like to, to start working on it? Yeah. I don't know. So what all do you see was wrong with this sucker? So he said uh, they put a new cylinder head on it and it blew the number five injector tip off of it and wiped out number five. So, oh, it's got a DAFCO. Cool. I didn't even look. Blew up and he didn't want to spend any more money on it, so he ended up buying another truck. And he spent a buttload of money on this thing. Didn't he say like eighty thousand dollars? On the whole truck, I guess. So he got tired of, of doing dealing with it, and the guy that put the head on it wouldn't stand behind it. But I mean, if the injector blew the tip, it wasn't really the cylinder head's fault. Well, hard to say. So that being said, he bought a different truck, and then this, this old girl's just been sitting here. Now it's our problem. Now it's our problem. Uh, it's like 90 something, I bet you. I don't even know what the temperature is, but it is so freaking hot, like my face is melting off. No joke. It's got a black APU, which is awesome. That works. We love that. That APU alone is worth what we paid for this truck. <laughs> it's sitting on flex here. 22.5 low pros. Oh, 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 look, it's got the caps. It's got the chrome caps on it already. I think it needs shocks. That one for sure needs shocks. And how I. got the tail lights. How do I know it flaps. needs. Yeah, it's got the tail light flaps. It just needs the chrome cover on the back. It's got a backup light. Yeah. How do I know it needs shocks? It either that or it needs preload when you look at this tire. See? So, it's got a Holland FW35 on it. Um, this is all going to get cleaned up. That's probably going to get mounted underneath the sleeper. This load lock holder is probably going to come off because it's kind of ugly. I love that it's got the jump box and jump posts in the back. Um, it's going to get a different deck plate. That's assuming we're going to keep this truck. Right? Don't mind all the truck parts in here right now. It's got a big old dash slapper FRO 16210C. It's a 10 spade. It's a manual transmission so yeah that's cool 
it doesn't have the jakes and the thing anymore it's got the spike here which i like that because i hate how they put it on they put it on a dash there um, cruise control is in the wheel unfortunately and we are going to have to replace the steering wheel because it's pretty janky but this is a high-end interior it's got the little table there it's got the fancy doohickeys um doesn't seem to have the heated and powered seats and they're not leather but they are kind of the more cloth premiums it's got a wood floor double bunk it's got a fridge the fridge is there it's just got a fancier cabinet for it it's got the prep for everything um sorry dave it doesn't have the freaking curtains they're all the curtains are gone so there's the box to pack our parts um that's the wiring harness jakes rockers and all that crap so yeah Ooh. it's a nice truck beautiful truck it just needs cleaned up this is our uh, project 2015 peterbilt 579 with a manual transmission oh it's got 308 gears you see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've